Now, these are two of the three most experienced big fight fighters in the sport. They've been through the ritual many times before. They know everything about this experience. They know this building inside out. There's nothing new about any of this for either Mayweather or Cody. Well, but there is something new, Jim. And that is, we have this unusual circumstance of Floyd Mayweather fighting here tonight because there was his justice delayed six months because of what kind of an economic powerhouse he here is here in Las Vegas. And here we have an elite athlete we know, and he knows, is uh, gonna spend his summer at a jail in downtown Las Vegas. Um, how does that play into his mentality? Probably not, but it's something I have, I don't recall. Now, coming to the ring, time world champion, Justin Bieber a little bit somewhat out of place in this camera shot? Or does Justin Bieber fit right in because it's Vegas, it's showbiz, it's big time? Well, it, it speaks to Mayweather's cleverness in marketing himself to the, to the audience. Uh, he's going to make north of $40 million tonight. That's a good number. That puts him in the one-tenth of the one percent, I think. I know of only one fight which would earn him more money. <laughs> what would that be? You may never see that fight. If he could make this type of money without taking the risk of losing a fight. But what's 40 when you could make 75? Would you get up in those numbers? <laughs> Who cares? 40, 50, 70, 30. Good point. But he's done a great job of marketing himself, particularly on the 24-7. He's done an amazing job of connecting to a broad niche in American society. And it pays him on a daily basis. I read in a magazine article that he gets $100,000 to stroll to a nightclub. And make it rain by throwing $20 bills around. I mean, how much does Bieber get to go to a nightclub? Meanwhile, here's Miguel Cotto. 